Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the K-Pop Taebak Show. Uh-huh. Today we have a very special episode. It's catching up episode with Pak uh-huh. Jimin. Uh-huh. J- Jimin X Jamie Park. I must say that I am equally... No, I'm not equally. Mm-mm. I am more nervous and terrified of this segment you better be. than I have ever been. You better be, Eric. For a single episode of a podcast or radio yes. or anything. Yes, yes, yes. Keep talking. Keep talking. Do you guys see what's happening? Keep talking how beautiful I am. Right now. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted that. Oh man. Okay. Um, yes, we are we're super excited to have the mega mega talented mm-hmm. um superstar. Like Definitely the best MC in the world. Wow. Slash the best singer ever. Eric, no. <laughs> ever. She's the winner of K-pop star season one. Okay, you gotta stop talking about K-pop star right now. It's been nine years. It's for part me. of your history. All right, okay. It's part of your history. We have Miss Pak Jimin, Jamie Park. Hello, welcome to the show. Hello. It's your girl, Jamie A. I bet people hate that right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So, Jamie, welcome yes. to the show. Please say hello to our listeners. Hey. Thank you. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Can we just do it naturally, please? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. Well, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. I know you're super busy. Mm-hmm. You've been incredibly busy. Right. Um, what have you been up to? I've been sleeping for eight hours and I just came back. And I got a lot of traffic. It cost uh-huh. me iman on, so you better pay me back right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay you in pizza. Oh, oh okay. All right, Does cool. it have pineapples? I mean, do you want pineapples? Yes, of course. It? Okay, so we'll get you a pineapple pizza. We'll get you a Hawaiian pizza. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> um, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Um... Let's see. Let's talk about. Do you remember the first time we met? Um, no. Why I should I? I mean, <laughs> I mean, because it was oh, such oh. a momentous occasion. We for met me. in ASC. We did meet in ASC, but I met you first on TV as the winner of K-pop Star oh season God, one. Right now, um, and she was this. She was the winner of K-pop Star season. You were top one. ten. Yeah, it's in not. Tansen. It's not winner though. Oh, okay. The world only thinks of the winners. <laughs> Good. So it's all good. Okay. Um, but yes, we met at ASC. Yes, we did. When was that? It was like 2003 or 4. 2003? Yeah. What are you talking about? Why? You mean 2013? Oh, 2013. <laughs> yeah. <You said> we <laughs> were- <laughs> 2013. <laughs> yeah, 2013. Yeah, yeah. 2003 was when Wait, I was, was 5. It? So, no. Maybe 13. It may Th- have been 13. 13. Um, so our lovely producer has a wonderful fact sheet on you in your life okay and we're just gonna run through it real quick for people who may not know you i'm sure everybody you're the winner of k-pop star season one so everybody mm-hmm. knows you i mean for sure that i'm not bts though right you're right. not yes and they they still dm me ah uh, opa i love you girl look at my feed <laughs> i got <laughs> you know let's yes. chill yes thank you uh, they do have the same name but yes you're di- different people different Completely different 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 people, different people. Different. all right so let's go with this all right Full name, Pak Jimin. Mm-hmm. Do you have another name? Jamie. Is that your legal name? No. All right, cool. Uh, born July 5th, 5th. 1997. Mm-hmm. So you're 22 years old. 22, yes. In Daejeon. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you know about Daejeon? I do. What do you know about Daejeon? Far. Oh, okay. That's like pretty much, isn't that? That's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got it right. Um, you lived in Thailand for seven years. Eight. Eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Eight years, guys. So you speak some amazing Thai. So what the car when you date your fan fan Thai look so dimak? What did you just say? Um, I love my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Wait. Uh, um, so that's did you just memorize that? Yeah. And that's pretty much all you know. All I know. Did Bam Bam teach you or just? Oh, uh, I I know one thing. What? It's it's like a pickup line in Thailand. Oh okay. It's like, hen tong nam mai. It's like, what do you see like over there, like far away? What what is that? Uh-huh. And then you're like, hen. It means like what? Like, and? It means our future over there together. 
it's like something you got to do. Amazing. Pick up, like, yeah. So you picked up a lot of people in in Thailand, I guess. Just yeah. Just using it all the time. <laughs> but can we move on? All right. So uh, you were the season one winner of K-pop star in mm-hmm. 2012. Mm-hmm. So you won a car. You got a car. I got a car. And you couldn't even drive. What did you yeah. do with that car? Um, I just looked at it and gave it to my parents. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I was like, wow, it's a car. Nice. You got a car. You got some cash. cash. And then you debuted in 2012 mm-hmm. um, under JYP. Yeah. Correct. What Correct. made you choose JYP at that time? Um, I really liked 2PM and Wonder Girls, to mm-hmm. be honest. And like they were my role models in uh-huh. a kind of way. But I can't dance. You know what I mean? So I was like… <gasps> and then… Um, well, I was just really into JYP uh-huh. singers. Oh, okay. So I was like… My first goal was just to see him. Oh, to meet JYP. Yeah, just to meet JYP in uh-huh. person. And then it just went on and on. And then I was in JYP. Okay, cool. Yeah. What did you have like a favorite member of Two PM and Wonder? Uyoung Oppa Uyung. was my favorite. Like he was my bias. <laughs> but then like the first day I went to JRP, uh-huh. I saw him and he was like wearing no makeup and he was fully like in a trainee, like sporty vibe uh-huh. look. So I was like, <gasps> and then <laughs> and then we got closer. Uh-huh. So it's really hard for me to say like I liked him as a fan right uh-huh. now because it's kind of. It's a little like it's like family. Yeah, but right. he was my bias. Okay. All right. <coughs> Did you have a bias in Wonder Girls? Um Yeon Onni. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you still stay in touch with her? Yeah, of course. I love her song. She came out with a new album and she did. it was like lit. We we talked about it on the show. It yeah. was really lit. Oh, really? Um yeah. So and then you became a co host of this amazing program. It's like Don't say it's AC. <laughs> just <laughs> just kidding. Change the world. Uh yeah, okay. It's, it's called Iron Young TV's <laughs> After School. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Wait, something caught in your throat? No, no, no. no. <clears throat> you good? Which I'm still currently emceeing yeah, and hosting right, as right. an emcee, right? It's yeah. been what? Five years? Five years. Gotta stop. Man. <laughs> <laughs> if I, every time I say this, the opinion cries. So really? Like, yeah. Do you just say it to her? You're just like, yeah, I, need, I'd be like, I need to leave. So when are you going to change the new uh-huh. MC for a girl? Because… Well, you know what? I told you. It's you're the best one in the world. Like, they can't replace you. Mm-hmm. You should just get raises constantly. Mm-hmm. Do you have a tattoo of ASC anywhere? Yeah. Where? I got like, behind, like in the middle of my chest. <laughs> it says ASC forever. Nice. Yeah. You're so committed and dedicated <laughs> to that show. Mm-hmm. Like you. I am I mean, I got out, so… I mean, like, why did you get out? It's, it's just, just like… It's, there's no bro history. I like, I just I need to graduate. Mm. I need to graduate. You know, mm-hmm. I I didn't want to be in school anymore. Oh, and so I moved on. So you just left, like you because you just didn't want to stay there. You know what? I did it for like three to four years. Mm-hmm. Thought I had enough. Well, for and me, it's five years. So I know you're a humble name now. Uh, oh, you're just gonna move on like that? Yeah, you're the okay. humble. Like okay. my thing was like you know I wanted to let you shine. And so I left oh, for you. Oh, you. D- you didn't have to leave to make me shine. I left for you. You have to stand right next to me so I can shine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I really listen. wanted you and Kevin to really just take the limelight and make. Well, me Kevin own left program. also, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, and then. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Why is your voice cracking? Hey guys, I recorded two songs today. Oh, nice! I've recorded six this week in <gasps> five days. For my, my album. Very so, happy. So that's why my, my throat is kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, you are very involved with, you know, your friends. You guys are in the MOLA. MOLA. The group. Yes. Tell us about MOLA. So MOLA is a group. Well, actually, we don't really call it a group a or a crew. Because, like, we're independently, uh-huh. like, in another right. uh, entertainment. But we're just friends. And then we just started to make music. And then we we're just like, hey, let's make a crew. You know, it's like something cool. When we were just young. Like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh-huh. we had no um, words to um, go for the group name, you know, uh-huh. like, because crew has cool names. And then we we're thinking of, like, we're the one, like, something like that. What was the worst name um, that was there? Like, so we picked up our names, like, capital names. So for me, it's like J. Uh-huh. Singyeon's for S. Uh-huh. Like, JSN. <laughs> Jessen. Jessen. So, yeah, something like that. Nice. And I was like, <laughs> you gotta stop. And then, Bulla in Korean means like I don't know, right. like bulla. Right. So it's like bohalche bulla. Uh-huh. It's like we don't know what to do. And then bulla sounds like cool. Uh-huh. So we changed that to M O L A, and then we Mola. made 
a stupid like line meanings for that, meanings for that. Okay. make our lives awesome oh, so have you made your lives awesome oh look, she it's just, pretty awesome she said the whoa yeah whoa if you guys aren't watching this on youtube then you're missing out on jamie's amazing whoa. hand gestures yes it's they're quite oh so they're hearing me yeah right now no this is not live oh the fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay um, so it's the three of you in that group? No, no, no. We have Seventeen Vernon. Ah, uh, Vernon. Pentagon Kino. Okay. X One Sinyan. There's a producer Nathan. Uh huh. And we have a ho ho, not not a ho, but like ho ho, <laughs> like Santa Claus ho ho ho. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and uh, he's a guitarist. Like he's like the okay. best guitarist ever you can really? find in the world. So up if and like, eh. Okay. Yeah, that's All how right. lit he is. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yes, and you guys work on your music together. You guys, your project. They were in your your video together with you. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. So okay. So are there any questions that you want to ask me? That's really actually no, fun actually enough to answer. Nothing. Oh. to ask you. Right. Okay. But pretty much what we're gonna do, we're going through the basics. Because some people don't know you. I mean, oh, okay. actually, everybody knows you. Okay. You're like, you're like our Korean Beyonce. So, mm. you know, everybody knows you, but. Just in case, we gotta give them the basics. Okay. Right. Cool. So, your latest song is "Stay Beautiful," mm -hmm. and that was your last song under JYP. Yes. Tell us about the song. Why did you write it? How did you write it? And why? Okay, so um, the English version, which is Jamie version, is totally different from what I wrote in for a Korean. Uh huh. Um, actually, this song is dedicated to someone that I really loved and. Mm. Um, this person was like in very low esteem and uh -huh. I wanted to tell this person that you don't have to change yourself because you're beautiful uh -huh. So like yourself, so you just stay beautiful for me mm -hmm. And that was like the mo first motivation that came up to my mind to make the song mm -hmm. But I just wanted to make it not just for the person that I was thinking of I just wanted to make everyone feel that way mm -hmm. So it's just like, bitch, stay beautiful Yeah, everybody, stay beautiful. Y'all mm -hmm. are beautiful Um I, I personally, I told you multiple times I love mm -hmm. the song. Really? She's like acting like, she, <laughs> like I have not told her multiple times. No, no, times. but yeah, he texted me. And I was like, listen, Ariana Grande. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> are you good at impressions? Uh, no. Not at all? No. Nah. You can't do like Ariana Grande like impression? No. Nah. I feel like you could. I, 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 I. It's pretty good. Thank you. So, <laughs> yo, so I heard that you, holy, I did not know this. You're trained in Thai boxing and Taekwondo? Well, Taekwondo was for a week. Thai boxing, <laughs> <laughs> Thai boxing was like while I was in school. Because uh -huh. I liked active stuff. Uh -huh. I liked athlete stuff like uh -huh. swimming, cricket, baseball, basketball, soccer, chess, hitting Jimin, <laughs> hitting Jimin's face, something like Wait, that. What? So. <laughs> Um, I like something that I would do with my actions, not just sit down and look at like, uh -huh. you know, I was really active. Always out doing yeah. something. So, Thai, Thai Muay Thai, we call Muay Thai. I don't know if it's in Thailand, but anyways, Muay Thai, I tried it and it was fun. Yeah. So you just beat the crap out of people. Mm. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> um, and without, I heard… Without feelings. Without feelings. I mean, it's all good. Just stay beautiful. Yeah. Um, you yeah. wanted to be a swimmer or a comedian growing up. Yes. Really? Swimmer was my first goal. Okay. Because I loved swimming and when I was young, I thought that I was an aerial. You thought you were a mermaid? Yeah, I was a mermaid. So I was like singing inside the pool but drinking at the same time. So I was <laughs> like, why am I, getting, why am I getting full? Because I didn't know that it's like… Do you know what? I had the same thing though. Not not like I didn't want to be like a mermaid or a merman. But I used to want to have like superpowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would go outside and I would just stare at things and I'd be like, it's going to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to If I want it bad enough… It's gonna move. I know. And I would just spend like minutes, like 10 minutes just like staring at a can. Well, that's scary. I, mean, I don't do that. <laughs> I look at the swim pool and be like, okay, today I'm gonna walk. And then, <laughs> today you're gonna walk on yeah, water or something? Yeah. And then I like, drown down and be like, well, maybe not today. But maybe I can find my real superpower. Is there anything as like you think about it now and as a kid, you're like, God, I was so stupid. Like why? I'm still stupid, so <laughs> I don't really care. You're not stupid. No. What is like your one of like your most embarrassing things like as a kid? Okay, so one one day I was like I was watching all these superhero and Fantastic Four was one of it. All right. And there was this um character that can stretch. Uh-huh. The, their bodies like very like It's like Elastic Girl in Yeah, Elastic Girl. Uh, in, in, in incredible. I know. Yeah. So I was like trying to stretch myself. 
And then, so I was laying down my bed. I was like stretching, stretching out. Like, uh, uh, uh. and then I was like, oh, I kind of, I kind of felt like something stretch. You know, like something, uh-huh. something on my body just popped. Just so I was like, hey, maybe I can do this. So you know, there was this part <laughs> when you can put your fingers under the door, and then uh-huh. like you go up and like. <laughs> And then open, right? Yeah. So I tried it. Did you get stuck? Yeah, I got stuck. <laughs> so that was like the last and the first day of my life. Stretch my... Wow. How did you get out of it? My mom was like, what the fuck are you doing, girl? Like, what you doing downstairs? What are you doing? Oh I'm like, gosh. I'm trying to open the door by like passing my hand yeah. and going up. We all have those things. We all have those moments where we're just, we're just really stupid as kids. It's just life. It's life. You stay know, beautiful. Stay beautiful, you guys. Um, so you also recently did a, a poll on Twitter and looks like you're going to shave your head? No, I was just doing that for fun. But <laughs> Well, we like, have a pair of clippers here for you uh-oh. to shave your head. Can you go grab the scissors real quick? Oh, nice. Um, so you're not going to shave your head? No. So you just hate democracy? I mean, like, who pressed that? It's, like, stupid. I mean, well, you put it on there. I mean, they're stupid to press it. Oh, well, you're, maybe you're <laughs> stupid to put it on there. I'm not stupid. You pressed it. You guys are stupid. Oh my god. Did gosh. you press on the bald? You yeah. stupid. <laughs> I mean, who didn't press on the bald? Someone that's not stupid. Okay, right. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, one day I'll do it. All right. What's the difference between Jimin and Jamie? Is there a difference? The name. That's it? Yeah. So you're the same person. No, it's just it's like, like… You say there's a Jamie version, but like, it's the same person. Then. So Jimin is, I want to call it when I was in a teenage. Okay. You know, like a very… Calm, like, <laughs> 안녕하세요, 박지민입니다. Oh, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I need some water. Yeah, and Jamie is like, what's the this Jamie? So Jamie is the thing that I I really want to bring up uh-huh. to to you guys right now because I've been hiding that moment. Okay, so tell us about this. Like, I feel like we talked about it briefly, personally, mm. and there are glimpses of Jamie. In your career. Yeah. But I feel like with your music for the most part and um, because you were younger and you were under a label and all this kind of stuff. Mm. You were probably asked to behave or portray yourself right. a certain way. Right. And now you're saying that's not exactly who you were. Mm-mm. Was that frustrating? Was that crazy? Like how I was mean that? it was kind of frustrating because there's times that I want to say something. Like but what? I, give, me, give me an example. Okay so… They give me a song uh-huh. and they'd be like, oh, can you tell us about this song? But it's actually about my real life and my real love. Uh-huh. But they don't, wanna, they don't want me to like specifically oh. talk about it. Yeah. So I'd be like, oh, it's a song about love and like very not deeply into my music. I couldn't yeah. show it all. And um, I'm, a, I'm kind of a person that who's like really straightforward right. of my feelings and how right. I think. Right. But it just needs… For it to be in JIP, I, I just needed like a little more time to think of what I say because my words can actually like get affect. Yeah, affect JIP. Yeah, I mean, you've been in the spotlight since you were how old? 15? Um, Four, 13? 14? 13 in American age. Was that like, what was that process like? like first of all, how the, how did you get on that show? Okay, can you say the word that you were gonna say? How the f- did you get on that <laughs> show? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, my mom recorded me. She mm-hmm. told me that she was going to send the record version to my grandma. But then she just applied it for the K-pop star. Uh. And it was like the first round. And then she's like, hey, we're going to Seoul. And I'm like, yay, are we eating something? And she's like, no, we're going to sing. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. And then I went to the booth and like, that was my second. And then I got in. What did you feel? Like, did you like it? Yeah. You wanted to be a singer? I mean, I like to do things. Right. Well, I mean, it, clearly, but like, it's different to be like, I'm going to be on a TV show I didn't as even a 13 think of year that. old kid and win the shit. Oh, okay. You know? And like, oh, I just want to go eat something in Seoul. Like, that's completely different. I know. So for you, like, you go through the auditions, you make it round after round after round. Was that crazy for you as a kid? Or were you just like, eh, whatever, like, this is kind of cool? The second one. Okay. Eh, whatever. This is kind of cool. Uh, anything hard or difficult for you about it? Well, because I was the youngest con- contestant. Uh-huh. So there's a lot of gap um, be- is in Hai between. Is older than you? Hai Onyi is like one year older oh, than me. Okay. So we're besties. Because okay. we were like, oh, we're in the same lane. But okay. like the other Onyi Oppa, 
like they're kind of like a five to six year old apart right. from us. So I couldn't like be all like true about my feelings because mm-hmm. if I'm the youngest one and I kind of had the feeling that I couldn't show that I'm like having a hard time because uh-huh. they're all stressed out because uh-huh. they know more things like how to do it. But for me, I was just playing all around eating Burger King. And be like, can I have another burger, please? And like, <laughs> and I was like, see ya. And then, so. Um, all right. So you went on that in 13, 15, you signed a JYP. Um, do you ever wish, do you have any regrets? Or do you ever wish like, no. you had more of like a normal childhood? No, never. No. I think I'm not going to be normal, even though I have a normal job. So mm-hmm. eventually I'm going to be someone who's crazy in the job that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Even though it's not singing. So... I think if I didn't like go to JIP, I think I'm gonna do a YouTube and mm. then like, yeah, scare the fuck out of people. And <laughs> but apparently I chose JIP and I have no regrets about it. Uh-huh. I learned a lot um, during the seven years with JIP right. and I don't regret anything. Uh-huh. Even though I go back, I would still choose JIP. Right. Um, I mean, now that you know, because you bring it up, your contract's been up for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you? F- how do you feel about? And a lot of people were asking, you know, wh- why did you not resign or what, you know, that kind of thing. Well, for me to be totally honest with you, um, I've been thinking of not resigning for like two years ago, yeah, about two years ago, and I was talking about it with my company, like what music I should do, I want to do, and like for that to be happening, I think I should like move on mm-hmm. to another place to find out new things for new futures for right. my life. Right. And so it was not in like a bad or like a sudden decision. Right. We're just like, "Hey, so like how you doing? Like did you find any company?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm still looking forward to my future." And they they keep like supporting me mm-hmm. on what I do. And for right. me too, I support them right. for knowing my decisions. So it was not that like all of a sudden, but the fans were kind of like sad. Right. And, but then in the same time, they were kind of happy for me. They're like, mm. "Bitch, you got a JLP!" Hoo, hoo. And I'm like, "Oh, okay, yeah." <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah." No, I mean that's I, I think that's great. I mean I feel like as as a friend, you it, and even me personally, like that's always a discussion that happens between labels and and artists. It's, mm-hmm. uh, is the direction right? Does the music make sense? Am I happy? Are you happy? And that kind of thing. So yeah. for you guys to come to a amicable, clean, nice ending mm-hmm. is great. I know. Because a lot of companies, the endings aren't that clean. It isn't. It They're isn't. Not clean. It's really disturbingly bad. Yeah. And really one bad. had to sue another or just like to end the contract. Right. But I think JRP is the cleanest entertainment in Korea to like end it really in good condition and before like my contract ended like a week ago JIP asked me for a dinner and Mm -hmm. we had dinners and talking about our futures and he asked me if you need any help just call me right away Uh and he's still looking for me that's nice yeah I mean talking about you know music and and the new direction that you want to take what do you want to do what's the the future look like for you in terms of your artistry I think it's going to be more open about what I talk now Uh because i don't have anyone that looks up to me and be like you can't use like you can't say this kind of thing so so i'm thinking i'm gonna be more natural and more specifically true of what i talk in my music Mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna do a lot of things that i didn't do or i couldn't do while i Mm wasn't in a big company so what's like the first thing you want to do i want to do a lot of collaborations Uh, with like rappers or any anyone that's that has good music your give me your two dream collabs korean and non-korean my first dream collab um inside korea would be don't give me that face that i have to tell your name but um (laughs) Eric Nam. <laughs> She's such a liar. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I want to. I want to do it with. I don't know. There's a lot of people. Um, JQI. Oh. Yeah, she's a Korean rapper. Yeah. And she's one of the most um, powerful rapper mm-hmm. in the scene. And I think we could do. A lot I feel of like things. you guys definitely could. Yeah. You guys know each other. Yes. Like, there's a mutual friends. Uh-huh. So we were trying to do it, but it didn't go well. So, because I'm out. I'm gonna hit up her on hit up on her okay. again. Cool, yeah. dope. And then internationally, <laughs> Bazi. I don't know how to call his name. Oh, Bazi. 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 Why? Why? I mean, did you listen to his music? No, I'm asking you why. Of all the artists in the world, 
Of all the artists in the world, you picked Bozzy. But why? You had a reason for Jackie. Bozzy, because he is Bozzy. I mean, I'm sure he would. Yeah. I have like a bunch of his demos. <gasps> really? Yeah. How do you know him? I don't know him personally, but like, oh. I get demos from all over. <gasps> but like, I have a lot of his. Bozzy. Bozzy. I'm sure there's a way that that could happen. Yeah. Send Bozzy a message. I love you. Yeah. Did you see him at, at a show? No. Um, he was here a few weeks ago. I know, but I couldn't go. Hi was there too. I couldn't go. All right. So we asked <laughs> your fans for some questions. They better be giving me good questions. I mean, these are your fans. So okay. we'll see what these look like. Mm. Um, first of all. They roast me every time, so… What's like the craziest thing you've seen from a fan? I feel like you have some savage fans. Um, my fans. Uh, one of the fans that uh, I currently like look at her Twitters too. Like we are like friends. Like Twitter friends. Uh -huh. She tattooed a face of me. <gasps> like an anime version on her body. And my name like Jim on her neck. Yeah. So are you going to do hers? So yes, can, can you, you do are. it? Can I'll you, do can it for you. Do, you. No, I mean I'll do I mean, it for can you. Can you do a tattoo of my face? Then I'll do hers. Yeah, I'll do it on your forehead. You want me to do a tattoo of you? Yeah, that has nothing to do with her. It's you and her, not you, me, and her. It's but just, I want you to be inside the circle. I don't want. I don't even know this girl. I don't need to be a part of that Follow circle. Her. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, let me know. But she did um tattoo me, and I was like, wow. Okay. I never had, like. I never thought someone could actually tattoo me. You know? Do you know what happened? When I was in LA… No, uh, I don't want to know. Okay, sorry. No, okay, okay, I'll give you a chance. Okay. When I was in New York actually. So I… I, uh, I was there for work and then Kevin happened to be there. Yeah. With this girl. She's trying to doze no, no, off. No, no. <laughs> so Kevin had a fan meeting or fan mm -hmm. signing. Mm -hmm. And I guess she signed somebody's arm. And she went and got it tattooed immediately <sighs> on her arm. Wow. Would you ever? No. I could never. I could never. Never. I never. Never. <laughs> Wait. Never. But you have tattoos. Yes, I do. You have a lot. I do. Can, like what do you how many do you have? Like about eleven right now. And do they all like have special meanings or no, just... they don't have any meanings. <laughs> only this one. Wait, what what only this that? one in my um, What is that? It's a heart and it says J X J G M X Jamie. Oh. Did your parents are your parents cool with you having tats? No, they're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, can you stop right now? Please. I'm like, do you want to get one with me? Why are you asking the meaning for this? The meaning for I did. You said it's J X. No, but that's not the meaning. It's okay. What what's I got. the meaning? Okay, the meaning is. <laughs> you could just tell me the meaning. All right. So I was thinking of like when I get married. Uh -huh. So my husband's gonna be really like. You know, shy and emotionally like touched and upbeat and like to marry me, right? So he's gonna forget where the ring's supposed to be. So I'm like, this is the sign where you put the damn ring. So it's like, oh, hey. yeah, that's the meaning. You really thought ahead. Mm -hmm. You've thought a, a lot of it's, ahead. It's it's my future. I need to decide. You do. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at like a year, six months, like what do you maybe think? six months? Six months. But first, Where's I need wedding? to get a boyfriend. Okay. Do you have the wedding like place? This is the re wedding ring. Okay. Where's where is the wedding going to be at? Is it Korea? Is it international? No, it's not going to be in Korea. It's going to be my house, but I'm going to broadcast in YouTube so everyone can watch it. This girl is just trying to make monies. Yes. From all the YouTube. Yes. Oh, Bring man. me your credit card. Um, that was a question that a lot of people had. When are you starting YouTube? Oh. So that's the problem. I got all my cameras, my pictures, my… You know, everything settled down. Sorry for hitting the mic. Anyways, I got all that down. But one thing that stops me is I cannot find an English Korean speaker that can edit my edit. videos. So if you have anyone, just please call me. I'll give ping man on. Oh, Zhang. She gonna pay you money. In a ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So if you guys, so I just help need Jamie. a video editor. That's that's the only thing I need. I I was like looking for some computer and editing. So if so if I can do it for myself, 
but I suck. It takes a lot of time. At clicking. I can't even find my email address. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> honey, right. it's going to take a long time. Well, if you time. guys want to help Jamie, Please. reach out to her on Twitter. She needs somebody. DM. DM, DM her. DM me. DM Stop her. DMing your body, okay? DM Wait, something. <laughs> what? What are you getting in your DMs? Everyone send their nudes to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you better stop. Like, are you serious? I know. Like, Wait, for okay, real? Okay, there's this guy from… Oh my god. I, I don't know. I, I cannot say the country. But uh-huh. there was this person. Uh-huh. He was all covered up in li- la- latex. Uh, oh my god. And then he was like, "How? what do you think about me? I'm like… Fucking look like a condom. <laughs> I hate it. I hate when… <laughs> this is all I gotta say. I can't go nice to you if you send something that's really m- mistreating my eyes. That's, that I just want to pop out right that's now. Like, that's like horrible. And he's sending me all like in this like two months straight. He was like, hey, I know you're seeing this. Just accept it. I'm like, can I sue you for real? I mean, you probably could. But like, he's a totally in another place like… Like whole around the world. Just half around the world. Block him. Wait. I blocked him. Okay. I blocked him. But then he keeps sending him with another like oh my gosh. Um, account that is, you know. Do you, you read see. all your DMs? No, I don't really go all through. Uh-huh. But I just look at some DMs when… You get bored. Yeah, I get bored. Or yeah. if I want to read my fans. So you get nudes. What else do you get? I get proposes. But that's cute. You know like, yeah. I want to marry him. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cute. No. No. Okay. Um… Okay, this is a question from Deng Su. Deng Su. Only the TMI are you just give us today's TMI. Only TMI, sir. I picked my nose just right now. She she did. She just flicked a big ass booger on our wall. That was huge. Can I go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they ask for TMIs. That's really cute, you know. They just all they want to know all the things what you do. They do. They yeah. do. Question. This is from Lamara Park. How to be savage. If you meet someone like Eric, you just constantly just want to be savage. Because the way he talks, the way he looks at you, the way he breathes, the way his hair is curled, <laughs> it makes you savage. Wow, you're just very nice. Um, who do you like co-hosting with better? Eric and Kevin, Kevin and Jay, Heejun and Wusong. Kevin and Jay. Kevin and Jay. <laughs> Alright. No, so tell me about Heejun and Wusong. First, Usung sucks at MC. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like just uh, he's he's really new. He he can't talk. Wait, is he gonna cry if he sees this? No, I always tell tell him that you suck at MC. Really? Yeah, but he always does this nice things, and uh-huh. I don't like really being nice because it's not fun. So he's so nice that it's just making me like sad. Uh huh. So if he if he could just do a little more what he does it in the. Um, room like before we go to the show, then uh-huh. it's gonna be like a hundred percent more funnier. Uh-huh. But like when the camera, like when he's does he kind of freeze up? Yeah, he freezes up. He's okay. like getting like frozen, like Elsa. Elsa, yeah. I. I'm damn. like, bro, wake up. Damn, Uzong. Yeah. Uzong. Get it together. And, and he Jun, he's uh-huh. just too old. <gasps> Whoa. He just, he just needs sleep. You know, he's younger than me. Oh. Huh? <laughs> We need to stop doing this show. Oh no. You're old, Eric. But oh! he, no, but like he's just like I I I'm not like just giving him all the stress for his ages, but he just sleeps. He constantly sleeps during the show. He's like, Okay, so please say hello to the ears. ears. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel so bad. It's like, I need to take care of this brother. I need to take care of these two babies around me. Look, I mean, you should. You know, they need you. You should be a good mom. You're the sambe. That's what you got to do, right? This question is for Ace of Jamie. Rapping queen, show us your freestyle rapping skills by rapping about avocados. Three, two, one, go. I don't eat avocado. Still got nothing to say. <laughs> Bye, bitch. That was horrible. <laughs> okay, that was do, do a song about avocado. A rap. One, a rap? two, three. <laughs> Wait, I never said I was good at this. Shut up. I was good. I got myself an avocado. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it was better than yours. Better than yours, Jamie. 
What? Stop laughing. All right, this is from Jamie Sunny. If you're a sinking boat with Jay, Eric, and Kevin, there's a shark coming, and it happens that the shark knows how to communicate and asks you to save your life, you must sacrifice one person. Mm-hmm. I feel like I already know the answer to this. Who's the person going to be? Jay. <laughs> Wait, it's not me? No. I thought it would be me. Why Jay? Because he's the easy one to get. <laughs> why do you Why do you feel that way? I mean like three of them are all skinny. I'm, so I mean, let's get the more skinnier one. The skinniest one? The skinniest one. It's going to be Jay? It's going to be Jay. He, I just can lift him up with my… Like one my… With just a hand. Just the hand. And then he's going to be like… Oh. And then like… And he's like… Oh. <laughs> and the trust going to be like… Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's no meat! <laughs> just bones. Just bones. Question from Joelle. What is the most disturbing thing you've ever seen? <laughs> it's disturbing so much. The most disturbing thing you've ever seen? It's what you're seeing right now. Are you looking at me right now? Yeah. This girl's just… She's just mean. Okay, the disturbing thing is the latex that I talked about. <laughs> I want to be like, you should share that. But that would just be horrible. Like, that would be the worst thing. It's worst. It would be thing. horrible. Like, please, I'm not joking. <clears throat> Stop sending nudes Yeah, to that's me. horrible. That's it's sexual horrible. harassment. So if there's one more after this show, I'm really going to sue you guys. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Um, th- this person sent this literally 30 times. What is your favorite hair color? I don't know. What's what do you think? Like short, long, what hair color does it fit me? I actually like this blue on you. I'm gonna change it tomorrow. All right. (laughs) I hate the blue on you. Wait, that's what you told me last time I saw. You're like, I'm gonna change it. Yeah, I'm gonna change it. Like everyone's asking me if it's green, but it's blue, so But it looks cool. Thank you. But you did red for a while. Yeah. Why did you go red? Because I wanted to. Okay. Have you done pink? No. Nicki Minaj? No. Nope. Do it. Yeah, okay. All right. Cool, cool. Cardi. Cardi! <laughs> press, 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 press. Cardi don't um, need no press. <laughs> you should collab with Cardi. I want to. Cardi or Bozzy? Cardi. <laughs> what the hell? Did you just spew lies? No, I love them both. How can I choose? You can't. You chose earlier. You said you said Bozzy real okay, quick. Okay, fine. I'll do Cardi and Bozzy together in one song. That's gonna be lit. She's she's so selfish. <laughs> this girl is. What so do you selfish. want from me, Eric? I just want the truth. That's all I that, want. That's that's all the truth. I've been talking the truth since day one. I came here sitting down my ass in the couch. All right, we got two more questions. Oh no! I mean, we could do more, but I feel like you just want. Oh to yeah, I, I want to roast now. I right. want pizza. Do you, did you order it? Can you order um, it wish. now? Okay, I'll do it now. Yeah, right now. Okay. With with pineapple. All right. Okay, let's literally do it right now. Right now. Can you call the pizza? No, we're going to do it on an app. Why would you call? Like, people don't talk to people. Because people talk to people. No, they don't. That's how you live life. Look, I'm talking to people right now. I'm talking to you right now. That's oh, so all that you, matters. You think that I'm a human now. Because you never treated me like one. Wow. Yeah. This girl is just making up lies. Mm-mm. All Nothing right. Updates. Okay. How about… Oh, I've never tried I this. want a cheese crust too. Damn, this girl is demanding. Mm-hmm. Um, let me try to find this. Do they have it? Hawaiian. Yes. With, um, oh, who, do you like pineapples? Do you like pineapples? Um, I'm allergic to pineapple. Go f- yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to die. Who hates pineapples? No, I didn't say I hate pizza. it. I said I am allergic, but I still eat them even though I'm allergic. Oh. So I was just trying to say, but you come at me like this. Hallelujah, ma. Okay, sorry. She's been talking. hanzooming <laughs> the fuck out. So let's just move on with the questions first. Um, okay. No. Uh, no. If you're forced no. to listen to only one song mm-hmm. played on 10 bagpipes at the same time. 10 bagpipes. For the rest of your life, what song would it be? Stay Beautiful. Can you sing a little stay bit? Stay beautiful. Stay beautiful. Won't you stay? Jumyante. Stay beautiful now Baby, don't you ever change Your dream is gonna be full hey, bloom hey, hey. Pizza, pizza What is the most embarrassing high school story? Story, story. High school story? Yeah, okay, the so there was this guy I've been dating uh-huh. And he is, he was like a model uh-huh. So he was like 
a ready to be model model like a junior model right and it, um i'm very short i'm a 158 centimeter like 158 and he uh-huh. was nearly pick oh wow so every time i talked to him i need to look at this and be like hey hey you- how you doing okay so there uh-huh. was so much talking going on uh-huh so I was talking to him and I choked myself. Wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I love you. I was like, and that was like the most embarrassing thing that I did. Was he like, okay, life. we're breaking up immediately? Yeah. He did not. Like if if I was in the guy's position, I'd be like, girl, you can free your life and go to another guy. <laughs> Cause I kind of I kind of sounded like a piranha. Piranha? Piranha. Piranha. Yeah. Who was your best friend? Is Jay? My best friend. Yeah, J- definitely Jay. No, 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 no. He's not even close <laughs> to my best friend. Um, he's my best people around me. All right. So <laughs> this is going to be the teaser to Jamie's show. No. Do you like… <laughs> if you guys want to hear more about this, tune into Jamie's show. Uh, we should come up with a great title for your show. Thank you. We're going to come up… We should come up with great cover art. Yes. We're going to find you somebody to edit your stuff in English and Korean. Can you please… Like again, my YouTube editor, please. Out there in the world. Out there in the world in Korea. It would be better because right. we need to talk and right. like meet up. I want to meet up and be uh-huh. friends. Right. So please, 한국 사람 중에 영어 가능하고 한국 가능한 편집자분 계시면 제발 DM 보내주세요. 사랑해요. You ready for this? Yes. All right. So it's going to be a play off what would Jesus do, but it's going to be what would Jamie do? WWJD. Do you love me? Give me, give me a high five. Yeah, that was that was like, oh, and it's yeah. gonna be. It was good. People just send you messages and do whatever you want, and then you just answer, answer it, and like, you just what say what I do. Want. Yeah, what would Jamie do? And you just so, give me advice. Oh, nice. Is this gonna happen? I think it's gonna. Happen. This is gonna happen. It has to happen. Now it's gonna happen. Right now? Not right now. Okay, so we gotta Eric. get it ready. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on today's episode. Thank you. Catching up. I hope my questions and answers were okay to actually go on podcast because I did a lot of swearing because I'm like I'm officially out and I'm feeling like really high. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Like excited, excited. Right. So I really wanted to like throw out what I usually speak around my friends. Right. And so I, this is like the real Jimin. This is like the real. The real Jamie. Jamie. I don't swear that much, but yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Y'all got the real Jamie. Now you guys get the real. I'm excited for the real Jamie, Good. honestly, because I feel like I've known you for for a long time now, mm. and I've always wanted to see you hit your full potential, and for you to just. I do mean, but you just cut me off for like recently, for like at least three years after you, like. Stopped 내가 AC. 너를 안 보고 있는 것 같아. 다다 지켜보고 있지. I've always been watching you trolling people on the internet. Oh, nice. You know, doing your covers and your musical show where you're singing. Uh, what was that movie? The Eric greatest the showman. And Thank you. I saw all Thank that. Thank you, Eric. Don't Thank worry. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, pizza, please. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys should go on YouTube and check out all of her amazing content. Because it's amazing. Because she is Okay, thank you, amazing. Eric, so much. So thank you so much to Jamie for joining us. Give us uh, our listeners. And are you, they're like kicking me off my own show. <laughs> Give the listeners and your fans like thank a you. message. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right. Bye. This is the K-Pop Devok Show with... Eric Nam, ooh.